July 1774, English navigator Captain James Cook visited a number of Southwest Pacific islands in the group he named the New Hebrides, which after 1832 was included as part of the ethnogeographic region of the Pacific islands designated Melanesia. Governed by both Britain and France from 1906. This Y shaped chain of more than 80 small and large islands, over 60 of which are currently populated with 225,000 people, speaking 110 distinct languages, became in 1980 the independent Republic of Vanuatu. This is a film about the early globalization of song, about singing, And the transformation of Melanesian island life across the 20th century. From the 1870s, the world became captivated by two song repertoires that began circling the globe. The Jubilee songs were spirituals of the African American Fisk Jubilee singers and the sacred songs sung and anthologized by the musical evangelist Ira D. Sankey. Besides performing before European royalty as part of a world tour in the late 1880s, Frederick J. Loudon, Fisk Jubilee singers, sang for Karan in Burma, Maori in New Zealand, and for Aborigines in Australia. Loudon planned to visit Fiji, New Hebrides, and New Guinea to sing for islanders in these locations. While his plan never materialized, Loudon sold thousands of copies of his Jubilee song books in both Australia and New Zealand, and these books found their way to Vanuatu. In 2009, I was invited to the cluster of tiny Muscaline Islands that lie in sparkling waters surrounded by reefs off the southeast tip of Malakula in Vanuatu. Captain James Cook had named these islets in honour of the English astronomer royal Neville Muscaline. I went to document a performance of Salvesen, which is an entertainment form with its origins in Christian hymnody that had been developed between the world wars. During what might be called a golden age of hymn singing in Melanesia. In cultures such as those of Vanuatu, where literacy levels are relatively low, dance, songs, and oral histories are powerful knowledge forms. The over 1,000 residents of the Muscalines had developed and maintained Salvesen, a unique hymnody and dance tradition based on a repertoire of gospel hymns and spirituals. That were globally popular in the Victorian age. Discovering that the once sizable repertoire of widely known Salvesen songs was fading from living memory, over the next three years I worked with villagers on an ethnomusicological recovery project that led to the compilation in 2012 of a Salvesen hymn book. The earliest model of Christian work in the Vanuatu Islands was provided by Polynesian missionaries from Samoa and the Cook Islands from the 1830s. In 1848, the Reverend John Getty arrived from Nova Scotia to live on Natim, and other Europeans followed. 
Evangelism on the southeast coast of Malakula began towards the end of the 19th century. Trained Ni Vanuatu Bible teachers carried out most of the early work of evangelism in the Maskelines, and islanders began to convert to Christianity from the early decades of the 20th century. Today, almost all Maskelines islanders are members of the Presbyterian Church. As I undertook the project of defining and documenting Salvesen, I searched for answers to a question that kept coming back to me. Why had these songs that had long become unfashionable elsewhere in the world resonated so powerfully in the imaginations of Muscaline Islanders down the years to the present? Papa, 
Or the day he, he man plant something before. And then I can say, tell me, me small boy, me go with the more the temple. Uh, feeling plant something too, he come inside now. Me sing sing. And then I can say, me learn more custom sing sing. Go at the same time, school he come and up. Uh, sing sing long church too. He come out there. Me, me like him sing sing long custom from time you paddle long came we call long saka we call long mena time you sing sing ya you 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 sing sing long custom sing sing ya you are a couple long me pass long hill ya he come back long early morning long early morning place it quiet and make him say all the time me push him out kenu me sing sing where me want them say. Every man, man of war, man of Saka, man of Maskil, all the other. Songs or some say, but you know one man where you clap. So, everyone important something or some say you must cut songs, you must sing. Me stop thinking about how caught them, create them, you mean with them uh, full, full creation. You know, cut one something where he, he carry out no body, play you mean. The caught them, put a voice, play you me sing, you me talk talk. Suppose where you know make up, suppose where you know sing, mean him say. You lose him. One them we call to give him you. You put him inside, lo call to give you. You lose him half part, lo call to give you. Assembly building built for the 2010 Presbyterian Assembly. <laughs> What do you think about uh, the way the group sounds singing in here compared with in the assembly hall compared with singing outside? And from one him, you say like him, you say like him, uh, sound long choir inside long church or inside long assembly hall or outside long sand beach? No, sand beach. You say like him on sand beach, huh? This is the way we do sand beach. From because we we are free to move our bodies and dance and sing. Always we dance outside. 
It's not inside. So it sounds better outside, doesn't it? Yes. Do you think it sounds better out there? Yeah. Okay. I don't know the sound, but normally we dance outside for salvation. Well, I think uh, inside the church is, uh, it is more than outside. Uh, the singing has a, every melody combined, and the um, the the choir and the salvation. Everybody uh, with um, uh, the parts, the tenor, alto, and uh, soprano and bass. It's clear inside rather than the outside. It's more clear inside. Yeah, yeah. Like outside not so clear, but do you like the sound better outside? Or do you like the sound better with all the parts? Yes. I think with all the parts inside is better than outside. And the other one, the other words you say that we sing in the church or either in any any room in the house, it feels that we haven't uh, dance, eh? oh, so we perform this kind of uh, concert because we we feel want to dance. Yeah. So we need the open place. Okay, so if you're listening to it, it sounds good in church, but if you're performing it, it's yeah. better outside. Yes. 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 Yeah. So two different opinions, yes. uh, depending on the purpose, really. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> From the 1860s to the early 1900s, tens of thousands of men and women from the Melanesian islands were transported to Queensland, where they became indentured laborers on sugarcane plantations. While in Queensland, many islanders learned how to read the Bible and sing hymns from tonic solfa notation. They developed a deep and lasting fondness for the popular gospel songs of American evangelists, many islanders returned to Vanuatu with the new religion of Christianity and introduced its tenets and music to fellow villagers. In southern Malakula, near the Maskalins, Christianity and its songs became known as Salvesin or Salvation. Meanwhile, Missionaries at the Presbyterian Bible Training Institute considered the Fisk Jubilee songs to be an effective substitute for islanders' pre-Christian song and dance forms, which they found morally deficient. The missionaries believed that Melanesians were, as they put it, like American Negroes, in culture and historical experience. I got uh, to a man where he called them TTI people. Mm. I live red with them Alvin. I was say yeah with them uh Tati Blue me or them or Blaisaka or to love us time, but I'm to lay come back, to lay no teach too much. Be a lick fred, Papa Blum Glia. Ali Fred? Ah. With them Alvin. To lay come with them Matthew later long, huh? Todi la suba mire, todi la suba mire. Tu la itre de mi bula lohem. Kokona la ni mi tu la long. Mi bula long a sangi hembuku. Tai mi bula iluk namba otenia. Be iluk toto we. Toto ilaina. Saprano, pena, alto, alto, pes, pes. Enya ikatwini kyo hembuku ya. Tu bulan ni train demi bulan lah, time demi bulan semua. Nah, ini bulan yang quick ko? No, it take a time. Eh, how long? One week. Or semia demi bulan sampai one him. He come long listen, long sing sing. 
John Gulfor was a Muscaline Islander who began training at the Presbyterian Institute in 1911. He qualified as a Bible teacher and eventually brought the Christian faith back to his home island. Gulfor disseminated Bible stories and gospel songs and set about systematically teaching islanders to read, sing from tonic solfa, and practice a form of military drill. These activities were merged with a simplified version of a local circular dance, and the performance came to be known as Salvesanami, due to the military resonances and imagery in the songs. These ideas, skills and practices became powerful symbols and agents of lasting change on the island. I am a crazy soldier, one noise, noise and cool. I'm sad when I'm happy, I'm sad and I'm sad too. I'm sad, I'm the nation, I'm not a rich son, I'm in battle of glory. Gufo died in 1961, but his son-in-law, Johnny Mark, now in his 90s, lives alone in a small tin hut in Pelong village in the Mascalines. He is known locally as Radio Australia because he sings day and night like a permanently switched-on radio that is tuned to the international broadcaster. He put on plant and then he come down bush. He come down life. Come down school. Saturday he make him plant and then. Then he stop on heating. Long pick and land. And Saturday he put him on the water. All these look at the dark end. Where all these trees are, all these trees. Good for, with, I think, with, he, he graduated from TTI in 1912 which meant he might have been, say, 22, so he was born in 1890. He died in 1961, and we've seen a picture of him, he was an old man. So if, 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 his, if his father-in-law was born in 1890, um, 19, he could have had his daughter when he was uh, 20, let's say, in 1910. She'd be old enough to marry in 1930, so so he could be he he could be born anywhere between 1910 and 1920. That's that's my guess. <laughs> As Johnny Mark communicates, Salvesin as a form was created, possibly by John Gulfor, out of the Jubilee song or spiritual, Angels Hovering Round. The white island dresses of the woman and shirts of the man signified angels circling around and round during the performance. Sarvesan performances are reserved for the Christmas and New Year period. Perhaps there is an association with the angelic announcement of Christ's birth as told in St. Luke's Gospel. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days, all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I shall feast at the table spread for me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. 
all the days, all the days of my life. Pe mea, chorus pe mea, a pelgrim was I and a wandering in the cool night of Sinaiti Trom, when Jesus the kind shepherd found me, and now I am on my way home. Like Islanders' pre-Christian celebrations, Salvesen is a multi-sensory experience. It involves songs, words, singing, drill, commands, dance, and uniforms. One villager told me, joining the drill meant that you had truly been reborn and joined the church. You accepted Jesus Christ through the drill. You received Christ through Salvation Army. Johnny Mark's son, Mukti, explained, when a hot song is being sung, it's like a musang, or customary love medicine. When it goes like that, women won't stay inside their houses. Salvation Army draws people. People get married as a result of Salvation Army performances. Because of the unique ways it involves our body, song seems to have a privileged channel to the imagination. Songs and singing have the power to instigate and mediate momentous change. They foster courage in the face of uncertainty. The decades-long process of assimilating outsider songs into the Musculine's cultural canon has involved considerable generosity and confidence. Allowing their collective self to imagine the possibility of a new modern world through the singing of the songs of others also required imagination and humour. During our time in the Muscalines, my colleague Hideki Yusoda and I found these qualities to be in abundance. Children seemed happy and confident, women and men went about their routines creatively and productively, daily life was spiced with humour, and village hospitality was as warm as the tropical sun. Our hosts have been most patient and generous in offering us a glimpse of the world as they experience it. 
The gospel hymn and dance form Salvation is a Melanesian local and regional treasure that deserves to be honoured and celebrated and known to the world outside. Yeah.